this web is uh, giving us the interview, giving, uh, giving the interview for Boxerorg. What did you expect it, um, about Vavzik, about your today's rival? Were you surprised? It's difficult to get any preconceptions about a fight you know nothing of, really. I saw a little bit on YouTube, that was it. So um, I was surprised how slow the fight pace was. Um, I expected it to be a lot quicker than that. Uh, I, was, I took this at very short notice, um, so I expected him to know that and come quickly to try and, try and catch me um, because I hadn't trained for the fight for eight rounds. But it was slow, so slow a pace, I found that very comfortable. Um, me not being as sharp as I should be um, for an eight-rounder, he was beating me to the punch. He was quicker, he was ready, he was snappier. So that's why he won. He, you know, he was there. He was at every single opportunity. He threw the shot and he scored it. You know, fair play to him. Um, if I'd have had better notice, um, and uh, I was fighting there orthodox, I'm normally southpaw. If I'd have fought southpaw as well, a better notice, the decision might have gone differently. But who knows? Who knows? That's just hearsay. I can't say that for real. You agree with the final score? Oh, totally, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. no. I've no. Uh, um, I've nothing to say about that. That's, that's perfectly spot on. Um, I had glimpses in, in a couple of rounds where, uh, especially when I pressed him back to the ropes, I caught him with some nice shots, nice body shot at one point, but I didn't sustain any good attack to, to be awarded any points, really. Um, so, yeah, fair play. He won the fight and, and he took the rounds. Fair play. You're an experienced fighter. Very. And, <laughs> and uh, you have really go good point of view, I think. And what do you think about your rivals, your today's rivals, future in heavyweight division? Um, top end, there's probably three to look out for. Obviously, the Klitschko's, maybe Hay. I'm still reserved about my judgment over Hay because he fought um, 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 Vitali, uh, not Vitali, uh, Vladimir, uh, yeah, you know, you know, Valuev. the beast. Valuev. Valuev, Valuev, there you go. He fought Valuev. Uh, the, the fight was very negative again. He just threw shots when he thought he could get away with it, which, and again, he won the fight. My first impression was he lost. Then I thought about it, and no, he scored the better punches, so he won the fight. Um, but other than those three, in the heavyweight market, there's a few decent Americans out there, but no one that's screaming, look at me, look at me, look at me. So, you know, there, there is a big market there. Um, I won't get it. I won't be there. Uh, I'm far too long in the tooth. Um, whether he gets there, I think he could make cruiserweight if he really wanted to. <laughs> Serious, he could make cruiserweight. You know what I mean? Um, he's, I mean, I'm stood here, he weighed in virtually the same as me, and he's, he's not toned. He's not toned. He's got good snappy punches, but he would better cruiserweight. Your fight against Enzo Macarinelli is hardly available to, to see. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. YouTube. And do you, what are your... Mm, resemblances connected with this fight. Can you mm, can you tell us a few facts, a few impressions? What, with, with Enzo. Yeah, Enzo, because um, it was it was a, a long surprise. Time ago. It was a long time ago. Um, he, out of all my opponents I've faced, he has the best boxing brain. He he has the natural ability to read what you were doing and switch before you know he'd switched. He'd already changed to to accommodate your style. Uh, you saw there occasionally at one point right in the last round. I started not to look, um, just to throw his mind off the game. Enzo would have read that. He wouldn't have been phased by that. He'd have come straight at me for that. He was like, what's he doing? For, for about 30, 40 seconds, then he suddenly realized there was nothing doing. I wasn't doing anything special. You know, if he threw some shots, he might actually catch me. So he did. That's why he started catching me. So therefore, I turned back. I'm, I'm, I've been around the game a long, long time now. I've got lots of little tricks. Occasionally, it gets me out of trouble. Occasionally, it gets me into trouble. But there you go. You know, either way, uh, hopefully it was an entertaining fight for, for everyone to watch. Um, I, and again, it's, it's another, one, another win on his record. And hopefully he's gained a little bit more experience from that and he can go on to bigger and better things. Do you think that uh, David Hay is able to floor Klitschko's brothers, for instance? I, Will he be a king? I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it. I may be wrong. Who knows? I don't like Hay. Me and Hay was due to fight for his English cruiserweight title. He, he gave it all the mouth in the internet. Um, I didn't hear about this until someone read it to me. I'm like, what? So I thought, I, I gave it back. Two days later, he pulled out the fight. They paid, we'd already signed contracts. They paid me 
because he pulled out. They had no good excuse. They paid me. That's how. So he pulled out on me. All right. Thank you very much. Best wishes and good luck in the future.